Okay, we're working on problem number two. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the average weekly pay for a U.S. production worker was $441.84 in 1998. Assume that the available data indicate that the wages are normally distributed with a standard deviation of 90. And part A, what is the probability that a worker earns between 400 and 500? Well, again, we're working with a normal distribution. So I'm going to use the normal probability density function. The center here is 441.84, and the standard deviation is 90. And I want the probability that x is between 400 and 500. So we're talking about somewhere in this, this interval here, in the middle, almost in the middle. Well, the probability of being in an interval uh, is the area under the density function over the interval. The density function is designed so that calculating this area calculates your probability. That area is actually proportional to um, the amount in each one, and we know in each part of the interval, and we know that in a mount shape distribution, the majority of the values are centered around the average, and the further you move away, the fewer there are. So the density function is set up so that the area is proportional to those percentages, and all we have to do is to calculate the area. Now, to do that, I'm going to need the table, and I'm going to have to calculate the z-score of the 400 and calculate the z-score of the 500. So, let's see, z of 400 be 400 minus 441.84 divided by the 90. And the z-score of the 500 would be 500 minus 441.84 divided by 90. The z-score for the 400 is a negative 0.46, and the z-score for the 500 is 0.65. Now, let's see. Um, a negative, if I look up a negative 0.46, I'm going to get the area down. Remember, the table always reads down from the z-score. So if I look up the negative 0.46, I'm going to get this red shaded area from the table. If I look up the 0.65, that's the z-score of the 500, I'm going to get the area looking down all the way from the 500. It's the blue shaded area that I want. That's the area under the density function above the interval. So whatever area I get for the 0.65, if I subtract the area I got from the negative 0.46, I should be able to get uh, the blue. So in 0.65, if I look up 0.65, I get um, 0.74. So the area of that green shaded uh, region is 0.7422. If I look up the negative 0.46, I'm going to get a 0.3228. And what I want to do to get the blue area that I want, I'm going to subtract those two. And subtracting those two, I get 0.4194 or approximately 42% earn between $400 and $500. So that is part A. Okay, for part B, Same distribution. 
centered at 441.84, standard uh, deviation of 90, and I want for a randomly selected production worker, what is the probability the worker earns less than $250 per week? So 250 and it's less than 250. So the probability that X is less than 250. Again, I need the area under the density function above the interval. In this case, that's pretty easy. All I have to do is get a z-score of 250 or for 250. I'll subtract the 44184 and divide by the 90. And I get a negative 2.13. Looking up in the table, the negative 2.13, that's with the negatives, go down to negative 2.1 row and over to 0 0.03 column. I get 0 0.01. Um, six six point zero one six six. Now, the area that the table gives me in this problem is exactly the area I wanted. So there is nothing to do other than just to go ahead and answer the question. The probability that x is less than two hundred and fifty is the probability that z is less than negative two point one three which is 0 0.0166 or 1.7% earn less than $250. z-score of negative 2.13 um, gives me the area I wanted. So I don't have to subtract from one or take one table value and subtract from the other. A lot of these problems are driven by drawing a good picture and then looking at the picture and matching it to what the table is doing to figure out how you can get what you want. So there's a lot of geometry. You want to think of it as is drawing a good picture and letting the picture tell you what you need to do. Okay, Part C. Part C says 20% of wage earners make less than what weekly amount? Okay, well this is this other problem. This is the turnaround type of problem where it's actually giving you a um, percentage and or a probability and you're asked to find an interval value. So we're still working with the same problem. So the distribution is normal. And in this case, 20% um, the area under the curve is given. And what we're trying to do is to find the x value. The average again is 441.84. Standard deviation is 90. Now, again, like um, problem number one example, uh, we worked a, a kind of problem like this, only the percentage we were given was on the upper end. Um, it's using the z score formula. That relates all the values in these problems. But what I'm going to need is I'm going to need a z-score for x to be able to solve for x. So let's look up the z-score for x. How do we do that? In this case, uh, it's looking up the point 2 as a probability. And the z-score for x is going to be negative since x is to the left of the center. So I'm going to try to get as close to point 2 in the table as I can and figure out what the row and column are. The closest I can get is 0 .2005, and that's on the um, table with the negatives. It's in row negative 0.8 and under column 0 .04. So the z-score for x is going to be a negative 0 .8.
4. Now in my z-score formula then, I'll have a negative 0.84 is equal to x. Well, we're trying to figure out, subtract the 441.84 divided by 90. Now if I multiply both sides by 90, and I add 441.84, I'm going to get x equals 366 dollars and 24 cents 366 dollars and 24 cents so 20 percent of the um, workers here are making less than three hundred and sixty six dollars and twenty cent, uh, twenty four cents twenty percent of these earners make less than three hundred and sixty six dollars and twenty four cents okay with between these two examples one and two I think I've covered the mechanics of how to solve probability problems um, with this uh, density function and table. And uh, again, uh, these two problems are well representative of the kind of problems that are in that section. So look at these well. Let me know what you think of the lecture scribe and if it worked. Um, before the next exam, I will try to have additional help sessions. So uh, keep me informed. Thank you.